Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how to create and configure an Azure Recovery Service Vault. Azure Recovery Service Vault is being used mainly for three operations including taking on-demand backups, performing restores and creating backup policies. By using this you can take backup of your uh, Azure VM or your uh, file server and etc. To do that first go to your Azure portal search for recovery service vaults after that click on create select your subscription select your resource group give a, your vault name and select your reason now click on networking allow public access for all networks click on tags review and create now click on create <coughs> So it's now in deployment pro in progress. So still in progress. It might take some time. So our vault has been created. Click on the vault. Now we are taking the backups, so click on backup. Now, where is your workload running? So you take your, your Azure backup, Azure Stack Hub. On, in my case, I want to take a backup for a certain folder in my PC. So I select on on-premise. What do you want to backup? On that, you select your backup types. For me, it's files and folder. So I click on files and folder. So prepare infrastructure. So now install recovery service agent. So I need to download this agent for the PC. Click on download and download vault credential to register the server, server to the vault. Uh, it will expire after 10 days. So Click on this and click on download. So it's downloading. So after completing the download, these two things, you take this file to your target computer. In my case, I want to configure this in this PC. So I click on this agent installer. Click on run. Click on yes. So click on next, click on next, click on next, 
click on install if it is not available in your PC it will automatically install this .NET Framework 4.5 and Windows PowerShell usually it was there so it's already installing the agent <coughs> now we proceed for the registration so click on proceed to registration so vault credential so this credential that we download here so we click on browse and select the credential click on open so now click on next it will tell you to generate and pass phase so just click on generate pass phase and to save this pass phase you can select any drive click on finish yes it will take some time to registering the server with Microsoft Azure backup now you can see that Microsoft Azure backup is now available for the server it has been configured successfully but it shows a warning it shows that uh, to store the uh, pass phase we store it locally but it suggests us to uh, store in uh, Azure Key Vault uh, you can uh, ignore this warning click on close so now it will load the Microsoft Azure backup we already have registered the server now I'm going to show you how to take a backup so you can run and schedule backup it will take in incrementally uh, schedule backup for you know particular days or weeks or month so click on next now add item so for me I want to take in backup for my particular let's say a, a desktop folder Let's say I want to back, take a backup for this screenshot folder. So click on OK. So it add the item. I can add multiple number of uh, folder in here. I click on Next. So schedule a backup in every days or every week. So according to this, it will take the backup. Let's say I want to take in backup at every night at 10 p.m. So click on next. So it will, you know, uh, select a weekly retention policy, monthly retention policy. So you can uh, see out all of this plan. Click on next. So in online, it will transfer over the network. Click on next. Files and folder. Click on finish. So it's in in progress already done its success so click on close so it will take the backup of my this folder on every day at 10 pm so the work is done in your pc now go to your azure portal click on recovery vault on vault 01 you have already taken backup so now you can see the backup items in here 
so you can click on Azure Backup Agent and it shows that this is your backup item you can click on view details in view details it will show your computer name and also your file type so you can also find your backup policies in here backup infrastructure in here so backup item I have only one backup item in here so it will uh, see all of those settings in here click on backup jobs how many jobs it's run it's all you can find out in here So now from your machine you can click the backup now you can run the backup now take the confirmation back it up so it's taking snapshot preparing the stories it's already transferred this amount of data so the job is complete So it will show that the total recovery point one we taken one backup. This is already as a backup. So you can see here the last backup is got success. So now if you want to recover the data, just click on recover data. And if you want to recover this data from this server, click on this individual files and folder. Now it will select the volume and the available restore time so you can mount this and it will restore our backup. As you can see, it's mounted on drive in here. Click on the drive, click on the user, click on the desktop, screenshot. You see, here are my backup files. So I can restore, easily restore the backup. And also, I can also unmount this after unmount. It will no longer on that location it will gone so this way you can take the backup and you can restore the backup from azure so, uh, recovery vault so now if you want to delete this uh, <coughs> delete the backup for the server so what you can do just click on the vault you 
click on the backup item so when you try to delete your server let's say you want to delete the server if you click on delete so it will told you <coughs> to select the server name so this is your server name click on it type it in here and give it a reason let's say I want to decommission that's why I want to delete click on that and click on delete let's say it will not delete because <coughs> the server cannot unregister as the security feature setting is enabled for this hybrid backup and it also on the soft delete state so you cannot delete this so first you need to unregister this server or let's say you don't have you know uh, access for your uh, uh, your uh, file server so first check the masses again So you need to perform a soft delete so to enable a soft delete you click on the vault you go to the properties you search for uh, security settings click on update now enable soft delete for cloud workloads you can untick this and also for hybrid uh, you can tick on this but let's say we just untick for all and we have uh, updated the settings now click on backup item select your agent click on your PC click on delete select your PC give it a reason shown now click on delete so your deletion is successful so from this vault you can click on backup item it will show zero zero item so let's say you have a server you have a you know file server it has no access uh, you can be accessed right now you can delete from your <coughs> azure portal very easily so this thing will not you know work so that's how you can take the azure recovery services and also you can uh, use the backup center it also you know uh, shows the all of your backup item in here on a graphical view how many items have been failed how many have been I think have been you know in progress or completed if you have more than one services you can find it in here so that's it for today